<laughs> wow. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a range-based video. We're going to spend the majority of the video at the range with Wombat shooting the 50 caliber Desert Eagle. Here's the thing, though. In the video, about halfway is a joke about making Wombat shoot like 300 rounds of 50 Action Express. He doesn't really like the 50 caliber Desert Eagle because he's a little guy and it's a big gun. But if you guys make this video popular, then it will not be a joke. And I absolutely will go get several hundred rounds of 50 Action Express and make Wombat shoot all of it on video. So make that happen. Thank you very much and enjoy the show. So if you remember back a couple of months ago, I did a video from the Iraq veteran shoot where excess sites unveiled their brand spanking new Desert Eagle sites. Now these come in two different variants. We've got the traditional uh, low V notch, big dot site that XS is known for. And then on the 50 Action Express variant of my Desert Eagle here, I have one of their three dot setups. And what we're gonna do today is break out the Wombat and see if he wants to put some 50 Action Express on some steel. Really quick though, I'm gonna knock down those pepper poppers over there. Now what I have here today are six rounds of 300 grain 50 Action Express. This is one of my favorite guns. I have not gotten to shoot it in a long time. Let's see how we do here. Glove in the way. Uh, it's a little cold out today. I think we need to go get some lube. Uh, as you guys can see, <laughs> I have a little bit of a flinch. What it is, what it do. Apparently, people actually like me and want to be back out here. So, yeah, I haven't fired a gun in about two years. I figured I'd come out here and screw around for a little bit. Uh, a lot of life events, new baby, new house, a bunch of stuff. But I made time for today. I just told everybody that you were too cool for them anymore. You had a... You know, I mean, I've always been too cool for just about everything, but you know, even I go slumming sometimes. <laughs> so, uh, what we've got here is the same thing that I just did. Uh, I've got you set up with five pepper poppers I'm just there. Do it better. Yeah, we'll we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see. You need to hold on to that thing. Uh, it weighs like 50 pounds to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever shot that gun before? I do not believe so. Oh, I think I shot the 44. Gonna be, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Uh, we're going to start out wide then. <laughs> uh, are you going to go left or right or uh, which way are you going to? We're going to keep going back. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> which, left uh, to right, you start... same way we read, I think. So you know, Left or right? Okay. Yeah. That's cool. So go ahead and go ahead and get it. This is going to be interesting. It does smack your hand pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, you feel it in your bones. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, I can't there's, shoot that all day. There's one left. Hit one of those... Uh, Little guys? Yeah, hit one of the auto poppers. Oh, you missed. <laughs> it, it it, really, like, legit... Um, it, it's different than a lot of a lot of other handguns I've shot because it is very direct, like, straight to your bone. Well, and I will say, like, there's nothing rubberized. There's no kind of cushion or you anything on it, which it. does kind of... I fired them with uh, with rubber grips on them. You don't want it. Uh, it's, oh yeah, it's got a magazine in it. Uh, I haven't shot are, it got uh, into you. You are kind of washed up. <laughs> well, one of the things that I really like about it is that it, unlike a Magnum revolver, you can't double that one up because if you watch it fire in slow motion, the uh, the slide will always bring the gun back to level. You'll notice that when you were shooting it, you were never like way off target. You weren't like way up in the air when you went to reset. It was... No, it really didn't. I mean, even with like such a high bore axis too, I mean, this thing's two inches above the, the webbing of my hand. Here. Well, it has to be considering it shoots a half inch projectile. Yeah. So it, it, it doesn't push the gun around. It just transfers all the energy into your wrist and, and into the, the palm of your hand, which... You know, it, it's not like it's uncontrollable at all. I honestly had absolutely no idea what to expect. I, I will say that if it wasn't a huge, pretty heavy gun, I mean, what's this weigh, six pounds? I have no idea. It's heavy. Yeah. Like, it's it's physically very heavy. 
and if you didn't have all this tension on the slide yeah it it would rock your world for sure um it's controllable but like i said if i if i put like three mags through this i'd probably be done it's unfortunate that i didn't bring any 44 with me or the 44 slide because it feels like shooting a really light 40. The 44 was very comfortable. I remember shooting it, it was no big deal. Oh, you shot the 44? Yeah, I yeah. shot the 44 before. 44 before. So now that you've shot the 50 versus the 44, what if you if you were forced to buy a Desert Eagle, which caliber? I mean, I would buy the 50, even though I'm sure the ammunition expense is ridiculous, but like if you're going to buy what to me, in all honesty, is basically like a novelty item, yeah, I mean, it, with this I'm serve still a, searching to, to hunt a deer with it. Well, you can hunt a deer with it, but there's a lot of other things you can hunt a deer with. It, you know, <laughs> so. Last interruption, I promise XS is doing a December BOGO. It runs from the 13th to the 18th, so if you need some tritium, there you have it. Yeah, I would get the 50 just because that's that's what makes this gun iconic, is the 50 AE, and, and that's really the only reason I would do it. Um, which I'm not going to. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's there's college fund and stuff to deal with. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it's fun. It's neat. I would much rather you owned it and fed it and all that other stuff <laughs> than me having to deal with it. Um, I'm basically be like, don't get by this unless you're independently wealthy. Because, <laughs> you know. But, but no, it, it's super neat. It's fun. Um, Maybe with a heavier winter glove, you know, it, it's in the low 30s right now and pretty windy. Um, these are just a very light, like, glove liner almost that I'm wearing. So I really don't have much cushioning um, on my hand. And it may with a heavy winter glove, you, you could get some more enjoyment out of it. But like I said, if I put, like, two or three more mags out of this in quick succession, my, my hand would be in pretty bad shape, honestly. Well, we'll just have to, uh, we'll just have to put that in the budget for you. We'll do a video one day. If you guys make this one popular, we'll do a video one day where we just sit down and make Wombat shoot like 200 rounds of 50 Action Express back to back. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. No, like... no, I'll pay for it. I'll pay for it. <laughs> but, like, uh, <laughs> but no, it, it, it's definitely fun. It's interesting. It's I, I don't know what I expected. Um, I, I definitely thought I would get a lot more muzzle rise out of it, but it, it doesn't do that. And it's not ported or anything. I mean, it's just straight up what you got um but, but like i said it it somehow the way it's designed it it definitely like you can feel it all the way back not quite back to like my elbow didn't really get a jolt but i could feel it like all the way back in like my forearm muscles that it really just shoved all that force like straight back into my hand how were the sights were you able to pick up the sights all right yeah they're fine yeah they're quick yeah it's very bright very big um there's not a lot of give between the front post and the rear sight well, that was the the big thing because the original sights from Magnum Research are just blacked out. It's it's almost like the way a Glock sight is, which I can't believe I'm about to say this, but a Glock sight does not have, at least for my length of pull on it, um, there's no daylight in between the front post and the rear post, which um, that does affect me on a lot of other handguns that have intentionally designed, as, as it would seem, um, a lot of daylight between the front sight post and the rear sights. This just fits perfectly in there, and, and you're on it. it, it it's a lot like a Glock sight. Uh, that's what I. That's what I said when I picked them up. I was like, these look like exactly what you would expect excess to field. Yeah. Right. But anyway, thanks for joining us here today, buddy. Good to have you back. Yeah, I'm back.